してきた人様の語で全かわけのつむぎさすアホの吐血見てるとチョキで勝てる気すなっていくぞすぐいくぞスポーツスポーツ腰抜けよう子供の負けて着ぐるみを脱ぐなんで私にはよくないかのためにツイッターだけの人マニア罠のポケツ見てると塩をかける傷恋人の負けで気まぐれになるなんだお前見はよかないかだもなかったうんきずなってくぞあでとびたいとびたいとびたいはい。Hello, Callum. Hi. Hi, Nortlet as well. Want to see something cool? Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are people at my house, so I'm gonna try and not be obnoxious. <laughs> I'm gonna try and speak like a normal person would. <laughs> and、uh, just, be, just be a little bit on the down low today. We're gonna, we're gonna be chill. Okay? Everybody shh. Everybody be cool. We're being quiet today. Also, uh. Let me find my tweet. 50 watt streak! Yippee! Oh my god, that's so many! Whoa! Thank you, thank you. That's so many streams. Wait, I got, I got loud. Sorry. <laughs> Ugh. My, my wires are twisted. Okay, there we go. Hi. Oh no, I dropped my collection of pots and pans, all of my Fabergé eggs, and my maracas. <laughs> oh no. My fine china. They're, sh they're all shattering on the ground. <laughs> But thank you for the 50 watt streak. That's so many. That's 50 whole days. That's like two straight months. They like making my dogs bark. <laughs> they, keep, they keep going, ooh. They fell in my pile of air horns and inflated rubber chickens. Got a bunch of bread for cheap? Hell yeah. You're, you're making bread while saving bread. <laughs> We love that. We love a self sufficient woman. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, okay, I just remembered. Did you guys see what happened today? If you know what I'm talking about, then you know. Did you guys see what happened today? 
Let me see if it's on trending. I've been checking to see if it's been on trending. It's not on trending. It's just sports that are trending. What happened? <laughs> it's Milgi. It's me. Okay, so you you guys know Nikocado Avocado, right? You guys you guys know him? <laughs> Famous internet mukbanger. Yeah, we're talking about him. <laughs> Yeah, um, so apparently none of that was real. <laughs> I mean, I mean, okay, so I've, so I've had suspicions that it was like, um, I've had suspicions that it was like a prank, but I didn't know that he hadn't recorded a video in two entire years and that all of it was pre-recorded and he's been losing weight over those two years and now he's skinny he's a CIA plan this is exactly like Timmy Thick. he said number four <laughs> number four <laughs> you can't even see what I'm doing with my hand I'm holding up five figures Number four. <laughs> I wonder if he'll play the violin again. I wonder if he'll... I wonder if he'll make videos. Now that, now that it's all like finished. Like it's all been a jape. I wonder if he'll make videos, like actual videos. That man is- that's genius, actually. <laughs> He's been making money and, like, making headlines for two years without doing anything. He wasn't even doing anything. They were all pre-recorded. I don't know, it's fucking crazy to me, dude. I've I've always thought that he was like a troll and that he wasn't like being for serious. <laughs> what if I've just been pre-recording these streams for the last two years? <laughs> he did live through the memes. He's been making money and making memes for two years without even doing anything. God. Yeah, all of these are pre-recorded. I've uh, I've got extreme clairvoyance, and I've just been able to tell what you guys uh, have been saying and what and what has been happening in the future. Hi, Crasher. Hello. <laughs> Literally, Doctor Who. <laughs> it's me. I'm Doctor Who. What if one of the <laughs> What if one of the Reincarnations of the Doctor is a VTuber. <laughs> Doctor Who VTuber. What do you think his VTuber would look like? Do you think... Do you think he'd be, like, uh... The My Little Pony Doctor Who? <laughs> he'd be... He'd be a horse... He'd be a horse guy. Or a horse woman. He can be either. I think... There has been a woman doctor, right? Non-binary icon. Oh, Discord didn't ping yet? Hold on, let, I'll do that. <laughs> Miku Libre. Independence Day protest in Brazil. Miku Libre. I can't, I can't speak of uh, Portuguese. But I'm assuming that's how that's pronounced. <laughs> I feel like he'd either be a PNG or the most intricate 3D VR track VTuber. Yeah. Bec because he'd have like insane technology. Right? So he'd be he'd be really intricate, I think. Yeah, let me send out a message that, that we're live. Live with FF14. 
Yeah, um, me and Cybolf had some scheduling issues. A JPEG tuber. <laughs> we had some scheduling issues, and um, we couldn't play together today. So I'm playing some Final Fantasy XIV. For, for just a couple of hours, because um, I've, I've got to put my dogs to bed because um, I am supposed to be alone at home right now. There are people downstairs right now. It's just my brother and his girlfriend and his friend. Well, they're downstairs right now. That's why I'm being quiet. Um, but I'm going to be alone tonight. So I've got to put the dogs to bed. So I'm only going to stream for like two or three hours. Walk the dog midstream and just played an old VOD until I came back. What what reminded you of that? What was it? Also, um, would you guys mind telling me when two hours have passed? Because I have to take heart medicine. Yippee! <laughs> for my for my shitty heart that I have. I've got, I've got a, I've got a bad heart. I still have to go to the doctor for it. <laughs> I haven't made an appointment yet, but... Hopefully I don't die between now and my appointment. <laughs> I don't think, I, I think I'm gonna be fine. I've, I've always had a high heart rate. So, like, I won't die in like a week. I'm fine. But yeah, um... Let's play... I have an idea for what your question was. What? Ow! Ow, I scratched the... I was itching my neck and I scratched it. Eh. Anyway... Let's play Final Fantasy, baby! I want to play Final Fantasy. That was loud. <laughs> that was really loud. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've been ground. I've been grinding money and uh, levels. Asked something, but it was incomprehensible to me. Oh, you have no idea what... Uh, I thought you said you had an idea of what your question was. I, I said, um... What reminded you of... Walking the dog midstream? What reminded you? What did I do? <laughs> what have I done? What, what have you done? Put me in the video game. Let me play. Daddy, daddy, I wanna play. Daddy, let me in. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, turn the game down. It's a little loud. Seems good. How do I unlock face wear, by the way? I don't know how to do that. My ventures are done. Tiny Milky and Leon S. Kennedy. <laughs> Reassign, go get some more plums. When I saw Doctor Who earlier, I was referring to the episode with the Weeping Angels where the characters are watching a pre-recorded- Oh, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that. I haven't seen Doctor Who in so long. I used to be into it. Uh, by the way, I've got him dressed up like a cl <laughs> Like a clown. <laughs> I 
got Leon dressed up like a clown. No, I j I I do I do remember I do remember that happening, but I I had to be reminded of it because <laughs> I haven't seen Doctor Who in so long. Okay, what was I doing? South Shroud. Okay, let's go to the South Shroud. Place closest. Um, Blue Badger, I think, is closest. My dogs will not stop barking. Hi, JT. Oh shit, I need to do my... My hotkeys. Hold on. They don't carry over from my laptop to my desktop. So I have to I have to set my my hotkeys. Um stance? Oh. No, I don't want to do that. Um There's Ready, circle, thumb, arm, actions and traits. There we go. The idea of pre recording a stream is cool, but it might forever be tainted by the guy who did that to himself to give himself an alibi. But oh my, did that happen? That, that was me, sorry. <laughs> If you want to, but I don't know if anyone would re respond to it. What the fuck? Where's my thing? Mount guide. Hey, okay, hold on. the hot bar. There we go. Got it. <laughs> now I'm so fast. <gasps> There's a fucking whale. <laughs> Force flew over the bridge because he's suspiciously was not able to reach out due to non-disclosed technical issues. Hmm. I mean, I've done that before. I've... Do you guys remember when, um... It was during one of my... Sky will. <laughs> it was one of my uh, model debuts. Hi, Night Rise. It was during one of my model debuts, and um, I I had pre-recorded a thing that was like, uh, "Is the audio good? Okay, can you hear me? Okay, good." And then um, I made it glitch out, and I did a jump scare. So I've kind of done something like that before. I can't do it again though. Because then people will suspect. <laughs> so I haven't done it since. I didn't. That's a. It's a long list. <laughs> one hyperfixation at a time. And right now, it's Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> okay. 
when someone talks a lot that I got <laughs> not even got it got understood okay so I've got a lot look at my fucking mini map I've got so many thingies I have to go to Scarvin's Brothers. Okay, I have to get up there somehow. I need to talk to that person. I don't know how to get up there though. Did it! <laughs> Never mind. Oh shit! Fuck. Get up there. Okay. Hello. The scar is worried by guardians in the wood, is he? Then the situation must be dire. Very well, I will see to it any Imperials are watched with a close eye. By the by, you are the Aura making a name for yourself of late, are you not? It is good to finally put a face to the name. Thanks. Keep doing your illegal activities. I'm not a snitch. I'm no snitch. Oh my god, my dog! <laughs> my dog went fucking crazy for a sec. I'm talking with a bunch of illegal, uh, illegal acting people. I don't know what to call them. Criminals. <laughs> I forgot the word for criminal. Garleans in the wood. Oh shit. I got my fleece sold. Crime LARPers. <laughs> the Scarin would not lie of such things, nor I think would you. Worry not, the wasps are watching. Tell me, are you the Lancer rumors spoke of? I expect I suspected as much. Many wasps are looking forward to the day they cross paths with you, myself included. Until then, friend. You wanna kill me? Is that- am I picking up what you're putting down? You wanna- you wanna fucking kill me? Did you just tell me that? Okay. Probably fine. I'm way higher level than you. I'm level 40, dude. This is a level, like, 25 area. Disorderly adventurer. Ne'er do wells. <laughs> Mysterious ne'er do well. Minstrel, the, the once I served with the gods' quiver, my days are now measured by stanza and verse. It has been long years since I last set foot within the Twelfth Wood, yet I could no longer ignore fate's insistent pull, and so I shall abide here for a time until certain matters are laid to rest. Okay, you're not who I need to talk to, I guess. Team Force is true in Vanamelon? I've never played Team Fortress 2, and the only melon I know of is Coco Melon. <laughs> Coco Melon! Oh shit, there he is. He's a traitor. Proceed. He was working with the Guardians, by the way. This guy's a traitor. How long do you mean to keep this up? What is it you imagine I've done? Enough! Enough, I say! You're too far, I can't hear you. It's... it's over then. I... I sold maps and rations to the Empire. It was I. I meant no harm. I only wanted the coin. The whalers are good. Strong. I was proud to join their ranks. Am proud, but they do not provide. They preach justice, honor, duty. But in the end, it is those with money who do as they will. Who live as they will. So I sought an opportunity to change my fortunes and took it. All I've done, I've done for the money. 
endangered myself, my home, everything and everyone I love. Why my actions have put your life in danger too. You're laughing at me? Though you do not yet realize how much. <laughs> Bloody idiot, did you imagine that you had cornered me? It is not I who was cornered. Guardians, I've brought the all raw bitch. Oh fuck! You just Oh, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna murder you. Permit me a question, if you will. Are all adventurers so deluded as to believe they can ch challenge the power of Garlemald? You would need a veritable mountain of gill to fund such an endeavor. Such is the cost of fighting great power, or of making it, or of remaking it, as we will Gridania. I'm gonna kick your ass. So that's the way of it. Swapped your hard bunk at the barracks for a feather bed in Garlemald, did you? <laughs> you there, all raw. You stand at old Busk's wish, no? And you don't stand alone. Yeah, I got friends. Feet Laurentius and his party. I will do so. I'm way higher level than you, idiot. Legless Laurentius? Why? He seems to have his legs. Fuck off. best the Empire's finest, and with bandits and poachers at your side, they're your sworn enemies. Why do they fight with you and not against you? Ah, uh, but I know the answer only too well. Lascarin. This is his doing. His words are want to inspire men, men to act. Better men than I. Gods, what have I become? What have I done? I I'm sorry. No more will I pursue this folly. No more lies. No more bribes. I will go to the Order of the Twin Adder and conf confess my crimes. There is something I would like you to tell Biscarin. Tell him Laurentius the Fool says thank you. I feel as though a veil has been lifted from before my eyes. Okay. I just redeemed him like My Little Pony episode. <laughs> But not the, not the episode where, uh, not the episode where they send a child to hell. <laughs> With commons. Yay! Easier to read for my ADHD brain. Oh my 
going. Oh, I can't do this one yet. This is like level 46. I need to go this way. <laughs> Are you able to sprint on a chocobo? I am unsure. I want to get... Okay, they're yellow. I want to get, like, clothes for my chocobo. <laughs> my eyes can't focus on long lists. I go cross-eyed. Hello, I have a bird in your home. Your bar, I mean. <laughs> How's the hospitality of our enemies? Left a sour taste in your mouth, did it? Pity that. They've no respect for land or law, but they're not without their uses. Now they know who you are, and that you ain't scared of them. Your name's getting known of late, for better or for worse. A lot of folk talking and interest in you. Thought it'd be best if you weren't looking for them before they came looking for you. I got blue. Ah! Shed! Hi, I'm trying to be quiet. I'm trying to be quiet. Hi! Hello! Hi, hi, hi! Thank you for the raid. What were you guys doing? Hi! Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Milky. I'm a spooky AI. And usually I play horror games, but I've been really obsessed with Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> so I'm playing that. Hello, hello! Raiders, hi! I'm level 40. Are you proud of me? I, Laurentius, confessed to his crimes. I, I just had word from the twin adder. What's good? Hi! I'm just un indulging my hyperfixations. <laughs> the lobotomy corp. I need to play that. Is it is it multiplayer or can you do it single player? I've heard of it, and I've I've heard the music from it. The music seems really good. Seems he marched straight into the nest and gave himself up. What? Thank you for the fun Uh... Pills here, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I had to... I had to think. <laughs> Pills here! Very single player. It's a strategy-based guilty kind of game. Whoa. I will look into it. I don't think I've ever played a game like that. I've played, um... I've played Don't Starve, and that's like the closest I've ever gotten. But... I would like to play a game like that. Slowly ramps up as you get more and more anomalies. Hold on, let me reload my model. My tail is gone. <laughs> There it is. Yeah, I'm trying to be quiet. Shh. None of my fixations are hyper anymore. Dude, I... I'll get so... Like, Undertale was my first hyperfix... Undertale was my first hyperfixation in a while. I haven't had one in a long time, but then I, I watched Undertale again. I was like... <laughs> Gonna be restarting the day a lot. Oh, is that what happens? In Lobotomy Corporation? Look at my stupid fucking dog! <laughs> the lad's had quite a life, you know. His mother was killed by a brigand when he was only small. As a young man, he joined the Whalers, hoping to spare his fellow Gridanians the misery he'd known growing up. Don't burp! Uh... uh. <laughs> Trouble is, protecting Gridani is too big a job for one man, and he came to believe that he could make a difference, that it was hopeless. There are few things more dangerous than desperation, and a man lost in the dark is easily drawn to the glimmer of coin. I reckon he thought that if he couldn't change the lot of his fellow man, he might as well change his own. Thing is, he was making a difference, just not on his own. Somehow, he'd failed to grasp one simple truth. With those things we cannot do alone, we must do together. Yes, I have played Deltarune. I've played, um, all that there is right now. And... The rest of it is supposed to be coming out in the fall, at least to chapter 5. Um... 
Oh shit, cheddar sour cream. <laughs> At least to level five. I mean, not level five, chapter five. Uh, so I'm planning on replaying Deltarune and then playing, uh, like as soon as a date is announced, I will replay chapters one and two of Deltarune and then play um, to chapter five or whatever ones, uh, wh whatever ones come out. Hi, Dee Dee. Hello. Super hyped. Toby and the crew did such a good job with it. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> I want to know what's going on. I want to see WD Gaster. <laughs> I want to see Gaster. My boy. I want to know what's going on with him. I'm excited. Because <laughs> you know he's behind everything. In Delta Room. You just know it. Uh, failed to grasp one simple truth. Uh, eh? He asked you to thank me, did he? And there's good in him yet. I just hope that the Adder's Nest are able to see it. Oh, Dee Dee! Whee! Yay! Yippee! Thank you for the tier one sub. You've got a little, uh, you've got a cute little bow next to your name now. And you get a bunch of emotes. Thank you. Yay! Called Steve from next door. <laughs> I think the main villain... Well, Undertale didn't really have a main villain, but I shouldn't compare it to Undertale. Um, because it's a different game. Oh yeah! Oh my god, Baby Raptor. What a little freak, look at this freak! What a fucking weirdo! <laughs> oh shit. Uh... I hope them at the Adder's Nest are able to see it. What he's done ain't easy to forgive, but I'd like to think he'd be afforded a chance to make amends. But let us leave fate to the Twelve. I have other news for you, Milky. The Sylph Elder has been found. Yippee! I've been looking for a Sylph. None of these are good. Ooh, I, I bought a bunch of different outfits as well. Mascarin has reliable information regarding the whereabouts of the Sylph Elder. It's taken us a fair old while, but we finally got our hands on some reliable information concerning the whereabouts of your missing green friend. Ahem, his name is Frixio, and he is the eldest among the sylphs of Little Solace. Long has he represented his kind in dialogue with the Gridanians. Yes, he's like a bridge between us and them, a small leafy green bridge that we can't find at the moment. And bridges are of no use if you don't know where they are. That's why it's so important that we Santa. find them. Judge! Just, just sent five dollars. Grooming products for Chocobo Soy. <laughs> Grooming products for Chocobo Soy. Yeah, I named my Chocobo Soy. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars that's going into my ARG fund. Yippee! Thank you, thank you. There's an abandoned dungeon called the Thousand Maws of to Toto Rock here in the South Shroud. It was by the entrance to the place that Frixia was seen, and not long ago neither. If you hurry, I reckon you'll find him. Walking ones, please help this one. This one needs help. Needs help to help Elder One. Poor Frixio. Poor, poor Frixio. Oh, he's sad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your chocobos. Take a deep breath and tell us what's wrong. Nice and slow. Elder One went into Toto Rock, but has not returned. This one is worried. So very worried. And you're right to be. The place fair crawls with nasties wanting to make a meal of anyone daft enough to wander in. What in the seven hells was he thinking entering that bloody death trap? Elder One had no choice. Imperial Ones were chasing Elder One. Please, walk-in ones must help to Elder One. Help Elder One now! Ugh. The fates conspire against us. Forgive my pragmatism, but Frixio is our best hope of reaching an accord with the Sylphs. We, were we to lose him, all our efforts thus far will have been for naught. I will tend to her wounds. Ida, make haste to the Adder's Nest and request assistance. Understood. Yes. Milky, go to the Thousand Maws of Toto Rock and see that Frixio comes to no harm. Peace between man and self rests upon your success. Let's go, baby. 
go to a dungeon. Yeah. It's dungeon time. What? Where is it? Um. Up. Oh, there it is. The thousand maws of total rock. Howdy, howdy, Arcosis. Uh, I just started, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm going into a dungeon. Or, I didn't just start, I just started today. The Order of the Elder Seer, Elder Seed Seer, the dungeon known as the Thousand Maws of Toto Rock has been placed under the control of... What? The Sylph Elder is inside? And you are sure of this? How the seven hells did he manage to sneak by? God strike me down for a pure pur blind fool. You must find the Sylph Elder before he falls prey to the fiends within. Entrance to Toto Rock is ordinarily restricted, but these are exceptional circumstances. Pray assemble a rescue party and enter as soon as you are ready. Yeah, let's go. I'm ready. Enter with NPCs. Yes. Let's go. Doing a dungeon, baby. Also, uh, if you're just joining in, um, I'm trying to be quiet because there are people downstairs. Also, it looks like there's an ad coming up in 15 minutes. Um, I run three minute ads every hour on my channel so that I can disable pre-roll ads because nobody likes them. So if you would stick around through the three minutes, I would very much appreciate it. I pause the game and stuff. Or, I can't pause in a dungeon, but... I, us I usually pause and then, uh, uh... And then when the ad comes back, we keep going. Small tip? Yes, what's your tip? Water stained... Nope. Only has permission parameters. Expect to encounter more as we press deeper. Okay. I guess. Job quest listed under main scenario. Hold on. One second. Main scenario quest in the upper right of your screen. If you do all those, you'll upgrade a lancer into a drag into a dragoon. Oh yeah, somebody told me about that. I Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh. Uh, burp. Uh, uh. I'll do that. <laughs> those I finished all the ones at the at the guild this will unlock a new lancer quest nice okay so I have to go back to the lancer guild is that what I have to do Yeah, I'm level 40 right now, and I'm doing, like, level 27 <laughs> quests. 
because I keep wanting to save them for stream, but I stopped doing that yesterday. <laughs> Look on the top left, it'll show it on the map. Okie dokie. I'll go, after this, I'll go check at the Lancer's Guild. Way of Penance. What's that fucking Kim Kardashian tweet where she's like, What if people were spelled like this? People. That would be funny, I think. <laughs> Such a good tweet. That would be funny, I think. doesn't translate, uh, in spoken words, <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Chamber, that's a little dark. I got poison. Help. are going on the market. Another note. Pretty sure we're the bad guys in Copper Bell Mines. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. They're just trying to do their jobs. Treasure, treasure. Dungeon seedling. And Copper Bell, the giant. Oh, yeah! The. Yeah, I forgot about that. That was the giant's one. Shit. They were slaves, and then we have to go in there and kill them. It's like, I felt a little bit bad. <laughs> Undertale genocide run down there. <laughs> After 
this, I want to show you guys my outfits that I put together. I have a winter outfit, and I'm currently saving up money for an autumn outfit. I just need the shorts. You an adventure, you're going to make that their problem. Yeah! <laughs> Here I come, be afraid! It's like be not afraid for angels, but mine is be afraid. I'm the opposite of an angel. I'm a demon. <laughs> I'm a demon. It will not be the last time right and wrong get fuzzy. Yeah, I would assume. It hurt my feelings. Callum is a demon. Eternal shame. Still not high. Still not high enough. But it doesn't smell awful. It's under Yeah, it just smells like a bunch of. It smells like uh, J.K. Rowling's house. Just a bunch of black mold. She turns on the background blur. Because <laughs> the mold is like... It's in her brain now and it's controlling her. It's like the cordyceps from The, the Last of Us. She only seeks to spread the, the mold. She can't clean it up. Or else it'll sever her connection. <laughs> will not let her clean it. Did my music stop? It did. Fuck you. Becoming a turf makes birds want to eat you. Being a turf uh, makes you climb up to the top of a tree and wait until birds eat you. Being a turf makes you perform a sky burial on yourself. God, it's so smelly in here! Yeah. Aesthetics tights. I will assume they are lower level. Yep. Minus 69. That's nice. <laughs> We're almost done. Smelly on the Marlboro server. Yeah, this whole server just has a faint cigarette smell to it. Nice. Very cool, funny joke. We've been live for one hour. Okie dokie, thank you. I need to know when two hours pass because I take my heart medicine at nine. I'm 
my heart will explode at 901. Please do not be even a minute late. I will die. Ugh, it's hot in here. Russian bedtime story that's like a lion's gonna come into your room and eat you. <laughs> Am I wrong? You're gonna look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? I showed my dad that meme for the first time a couple days ago and he loved it. <laughs> She wore a crown and she came down in a bubble, dog. I have a bedtime story where the tailor breaks into a boy's house to cut off his thumbs because he was sucking on them. My God. <laughs> Eastern European countries, they're Bedtime stories are all fucked up. Yeah, we just have the hat man. <laughs> or like the, the guy that everybody sees in their dreams with the big eyebrows. I'm in a fucking Mucinex commercial right now. Treasure, treasure. And Taurus needles. Can't clip it. is coming if it's not already on. I said daddy just <laughs> Mapping the realm. Ew! Ew, it's squishy in here. It's like alien. I'm gonna throw up. That sound is disgusting. I killed a god earlier. Seize that on Rajadorn. 
Mayhap I might if I deign to speak in my guest crude tongue. We meet at last. I'll make fun of my English. Glad more people are enjoying the game. Yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. I wish I had given it a chance. At, uh, I am Lahabrea of the Asians, servant to the one true god. Head over, yippee! He got bullied as a kid. Yeah, he's that weird kid that wears trench coats to school. There was this one kid at my school that, um, he was balding somehow. And, um, he would wear suits every day. Like a suit, like a three-piece suit. I killed, Yours I killed a god earlier, a by the way. is a most fantastical tale. <laughs> Truly absorbing. It is a tale to tell Eorzea's children before bedtime. And it will soon be dark, bringer of light. Uh, the dark minions. All that stands between this world and darkness is an irksome anomaly in the ether. The Echo. Echo. Yes. Yours is a most fascinating tale. Yeah, I went to school with Report of the Week. He said that he reviewed the burgers every time we had them. He does business, so it's fine. <laughs> Alas, like all good tales, it must needs come to an end. But fear not. Oh, fuck with that spider. Here. Feel the presence of evil. Evil. For the end of your tale is but the beginning of another. The tale of the crystal's demise. It's my little pony. Did he call more scorpions? Tail is shattered.
Crimson Tide and Brigand's Leggings. Not, not good enough. Brigand's leggings. Is it here? Nope, not that either. Alright. Oh shit, there he is! Is that him? The Elder Self? There he is! Oh my god, look at his tiny little glasses! <gasps> Finally, fresh air! Sniff sniff. Mayhap not so fresh, but better than before. Ah, Sinister One is gone! This one can leave this awful place! Hmm, did Walking One vanquish the many-legged one? This one is grateful to Walking One. Yep. This one is called Frixio, eldest of these ones of Lil Solace. But, but, this is gonna happen to me if I don't take my medicine on time. <laughs> Squad reporting. Nothing of note at Lark's call, sir. Understood. Return to Area 12. Damn it all. Where is that accursed icon or icon hiding? Icon? No sign of our wizened friend? I'm afraid not, my lord. Shall I order that the search perimeter be expanded? Absolutely not. We risk alerting the Gridanians to her presence. His Excellency bid us avoid unnecessary confrontation. <laughs> yeah, hi Nero! Literal Nero! Loath though I am to admit it, I have found no evidence to suggest that Ramu will be gracing the mortal realm in the near future. I ask you, what good is a god who does not grant one's wishes? Were I a sylph, I, would, I should strongly consider finding myself another idol. Which reminds me, what of the sylphs we captured? A handful of them seemed to be in reasonably good health when last I looked. Uh, uh, apologies, my lord. I fear we may have been overzealous in our efforts to compel them to summon their Akon. Really, Centurion, were you not aware that vegetables bruise easily? It is well that I did not entrust you with the more- with the important task of making my dinner. Well, mayhap it was a kindness. Better dead in truth than dead to one's own god, I suppose. You believe in such things. Dawn is upon us. Nick, what did you withdraw? Useless. We are so close to completion, I can fair taste it. But at this rate... No, I must be patient. Our efforts will bear, will bear fruit in due time. What was it you always said? Ah, uh, yes. That would mean bringing down the very heavens. Who shall challenge the limits of possibility if not we? And that alone you were right, Garland. But your star is long fallen, while mine doth begin to rise. And it shall burn so bright, so bright that Lord Van Balesar's ultimate weapon will seem a mere candle beside it. <laughs> what is he doing? Those walking ones did for Noxia. This one is certain of it. This one fears that other taken ones are also suffered the same fate. This one is convinced. Walking ones have black hearts. Seek only to harm these ones. Walking ones are not to be trusted. Being a gay bitch, yeah. <laughs> he walked off real gay. Now, now, Naraxia, do not pass judgment too hastily. Not all walking ones are alike. Though there are evil ones among the walking ones, there are good ones also. Recognize him by his walk cycle? Hmm? Does walking one feel unwell? This one would know. What brings walking one to this place? Came to 
to this one's rescue at Naraxia's bidding, then this one owes Walking One a debt of gratitude. Hmm? Walking One has questions about Lord Ramu, then this one will provide answers. But first, let these ones quit this lightless place. This one will return to Little Solace. When Walking One is ready, please come and see this one. These ones may speak properly then. Okay. Little hands! Then it is settled. Let this one accompany Walking One outside. see Baskarin, apparently. Oh. Ah, you're back. Tell me the Sylph Elder as well. Thank the gods for that. I don't really know what to make of the rest of your tale, but I'm cl full glad for it you know, didn't come to any harm. Ah, but there I go, tempting fate. Run over to Little Solace and secure us peace with the Sylphs before aught else befalls us, eh? Rest assured, I'll send word to our friends of Charlie and, and the Twin Adder both. You've done Gridania a great service to say, lass, and earned yourself a place of honor here at the Druggers in so doing. Be sure and come by whenever you feel like a drop of Kikir and fire water. Yay! Hey, Silver. Say, friend, there's something I'd like to ask you to see to th deliver to the Sylphs of Little Solace. This Azemia Rose Oil. It's a gift to celebrate the safe return of the tribe's elder and a token of Gridania's desire to unite. The, woods it, the wood is not what it once was. Calamity changed the elementals, weakened them. Until their strength is returned, we must lend them ours to keep the wood safe. But ours alone will not be enough. We must have the strength of the Sylphs as well. Only by working together and fighting together will we survive together, and the Twelves would with us. The gift I ask you to bear is a symbol of the hope that both Gridanian and Sylph alike will live to see the light beyond this darkness. Okie dokie. I really don't- oh, this guy's another quest for me. Uh, I'll accept it. We could hunt down some Garlean interlopers, I think. Overheard some Garlean stragglers were seen in the Twelve Wood, and you know they're not like to be up to any good. Me? Well, I had nothing. I'd like nothing more than to gut those Imperial Horse Sons myself. But I fear I have other duties to attend this day. We're counting on you. Thanks. Go to Little Solace. Where is it? East Shroud. Okay. Gotta go to the East Shroud. to run. Mm, my forehead itches. Ugh. Hi. Uh, how has your guys' weekend been? I've, I've had a pretty good one. I need to, uh, I've got some movies on my watch list. Uh, I need to watch fucking Dune. Both of the Dune movies, because I haven't seen those. Tiny Milky Completed Adventure. Nice. And I need to... Uh... I need to watch... I made Alfredo and then had to use the bathroom. <laughs> uh, I feel you. I feel you. Sometimes I make mac and cheese just to... I mean, not just to fuck myself up, but it happens. Finland Saga? What is that? Is it, is it like, uh... An anime? Sometimes I make mac and cheese just to feel something. <laughs> Anime about Vikings. Ooh, I like Vikings. I don't like what they did because they were colonizers. But 
Vi the Viking aesthetic is... I, I like it. I like old medieval stuff, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I like old me medieval things. A gift from Walking One Baskarin, a gift for these ones. Such a lovely scent. This one has never smelled anything like this before. Walking One Baskar and an Adventuring One are very kind. Know that this one is deeply grateful. Many Walking Ones are scary. Many Walking Ones utter many lies and much deception. But this one is moved. Let all these ones be friends forever. Yay, we're best friends! My little pony! Let me accept this. The Jigas. Komuxio wants you to discuss peace with Rixio. Pop my back. Ugh. Ugh. This one has been expecting walking one. This one fetches elder one. Here he is! Oh my god! <laughs> this one is pleased to see Walking One again. Welcome to the home of these ones. I love Papa Limo's little walk cycle. <laughs> ah, there you are, Milky. We have just been hearing tell of your deeds of daring do. Well done. Ah, the Walking Ones who aided Noraxia. This one is grateful. Pleasure to have been of service. If you do not mind my asking, how did your misadventure come about? This one does not mind. The misadventures, as Walking One calls them, of this one began when Imperial Ones entered the wood. Fearing trouble, these ones decided to watch Imperial Ones closely. But these ones watched too closely, and Imperial Ones noticed and tried to catch these ones. Having nowhere else to hide, this one fled into Totorok. Would that this one had not. In Totorok, a sinister one, robed in black, tried to feed this one to a many-legged one. A sinister one, robed in black. Why do I have the feeling I should be more worried about that than I am? Elder Frixio, we come to you as emissaries of the nation of Gridania. This missive bears the words of the Elder Seed Seer. Here you go. So cute! <laughs> this one sees. The walking ones of Gridania are fearful of Lord Ramu. Plainly put, yes. Your people summoned the Lord of Livin but once, yet that single occurrence occasioned great alarm. But it's not as if the Gridanians dislike you or anything. Actually, it's just the opposite. They think of you as friends, and they don't want anything to get in the way of that. That's why the Elder Seed Seer wrote to you. I love you, Cabbage Grandpa. Hmm, this one well knows and respects Horned One, Khan Ersana. Be assured, like Walking Ones of Gridania, these ones have no desire for conflict. These ones resorted to summoning Lord Remu to protect the wood from Imperial Ones. This one counseled against doing so, but was not heeded. Against this one's wishes, Lord Remu was summoned, and all those ones who took part became touched ones. These ones want so desperately to turn touched ones back to normal ones, but did not know how, and still do not know. Touched ones, meanwhile, wanted to turn these ones into touched ones, and did know how. So this one fled to Little Solace with all those ones who did not wish to be bound to Lord Remu. Is that all his beard? That's impressive. But walking ones of Gridania need not fear touched ones or Lord Ramu. Unlike other primal ones, Lord Ramu is not callous and cruel. So long as walking ones do not trespass on these ones' ancestral homeland where touched ones reside, walking ones will not suffer thunderous judgment. Grandpa's beard is very big. I can sleep in it. But this one has spoken enough of touched ones. This one would speak instead of these ones. 
As this one said, these ones desire peace with walking ones or Gridania. And so these ones ask for a chance to set things right. I love his little glasses. By way of an addendum, mortals who are tempered come to take on the qualities embodied by the primal in question. In the case of the Sylphs, Ramu's influence has made them fiercely protective of their homeland. That explains why they're so hostile towards trespassers, but what about the abductions? Fine question, Ida. The abductions are, I believe, an expression of the tempered Sylphs' desire for reconciliation, another quality traditionally associated with Ramu. In the crudest manner imaginable, they seek to bring their fellows back into the fold, a timely reminder that the challenge posed by each primal are unique. Elder Frixia, we thank you for making your will known to us. The people of Gridania will rest easier in the knowledge that they and the Sylphs are united in their desire for peace. Wishing to cooperate, this one has written down the feelings of these ones. Please see that these feelings are conveyed to the Horned One, Khan Esena. Hey. And with that, I believe we can lay the matter of Ramu to rest. The Sylph's Elder is very reasonable, I must say. You could learn a lot from him. Hmm, was that a jibe? If so, I feel it only fair to observe that one of us wouldn't recognize reason if it punched her in the nose. Did I say fair? I meant reasonable. Either you could kick him across the field. Anyway, we're going to head back to the Waking Sands and tell Minfilia all about it. Fear not, we will be sure to mention the instrumental part you played in all of this. And while we see to that, we should appreciate it if you would deliver Frixio's missive to the Adder's Nest. Elder Frixio, we humbly thank you for your time. It has been an honor. Eee. The honor is this one's. Together with the Walking Ones of Gridania and these ones find a way to live in peace. I did it. Please wait, Walking One Milky. This one has yet to give Walking One a token of this one's appreciation. <gasps> Ooh! When these ones summoned Lord Ramu, these ones were gifted this crystal. This one would now bestow the crystal upon Walking One as a symbol of these ones' trust. Yay! I got a crystal! Got a funny crystal. Put into the big crystal. <laughs> uh, my character is so hot. <laughs> Gasp! This one was not mistaken about Walking One. Walking One is destined to walk fate uh, to walk a fate far crueler than this one can imagine. A brilliant light from within Walking One enveloped the crystal. This one saw. Mark this one well. The crystal will one day be of use to Walking One. Walking One must keep that crystal safe at all times. Okay, I have it protected in like my mind palace or whatever. Before Walking One returns to Gridania, this one would ask Walking One to watch Touched Ones. As long as Touched Ones are not troubled, Touched Ones will not make trouble. If Walking One witnesses Touched Ones making no trouble, mayhap Walking One can testify to Walking Ones of Gridania that these ones mean no harm. These ones' homeland is fraught with danger. This one marks down safe places to look out for Touched Ones. Huh? Stand Lookout of East Little Solace. Okay. Uh, let me look at these. Oh, I can't. Eye of the dragon? Is that the dragoon thing? In Gridania. Also, let me see if I can show you guys my outfit. Oh shit, I can't right now. <clears throat> Got good outfits though. Trust me. 
just gotta save up for the shorts. Look out as an emote. You can type look out and you'll do a cute viewing motion. Yeah! My, uh, I did, I did that before for a quest. Um. And here. And do look out. The emotes for all raw are very cute. Drawing right now, I remembered, and I'll be a silly question I wanted to ask. Why do you want to be drawn with genitalia or breasts? Uh, but my silly brain was thinking, what about top surgery scars? Because I saw trans mask Miku with those. Oh! Um, I don't want my chest to be shown. But I wouldn't be against top surgery scars. I don't want my chest to be shown, though. Like, I don't- I don't want nipples out. <laughs> you know what I mean? There are tempered silks in the distance. You do not sense that they pose a danger if left alone. Hey. I don't- I don't want my titties to be out. <laughs> brain activated. That's okay. Uh, I love the the all raw emotes, though. They're very cute. I need to paint nipples. <laughs> Blood price. I don't want to do that right now. Let's go. Let's go to Gridania. Yeah, I don't want, uh, like I said in Discord, I'm good with, like, uh, Brazilian Miku kind of sexy, but not, uh, like, lingerie sexy. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna get my nipples removed IRL. You'd be like, ooh! You'd be like an anime character. Hi, Spooky, by the way. Fuck yeah. Yeah. No skin. Yay! That was good. The clap. Yeah.
Alright, it's going good. I'm listening to a concert with Drop Pop Candy. This is like the orchestral version of Drop Pop Candy. That was it. Clap, yay! Oh shit, they changed. Yeah, I've 
definitely heard this melody before. Retainers on another venture. I'll go back real quick. Is that a dude? Or is that a lady? I can't tell. I was gonna say, hell yeah, a dude, a dude dressed like a slut, but I couldn't tell if it was a woman. Have any more ventures? Withdraw some gill. Bro tainer to another bro venture. I can't. I don't have enough. Oops. Hold on. Sorry, tiny milky. I need Leon. Now I've got 60,000. The the shorts that I want are like 84,000. I think Let me see. Yeah, they're 85,000 technically. These ones are 85,000. Let me put some of the shit that I got into the market. They can chat to Hot Topic. <laughs> Let me... So... Imp wings. Wait, let me see the prices. Five, okay. We can do five. Um, and then some pixie plums. 300 a piece. Three 
100. Confirmed. Okay, and now Leon. I hate how I have him dressed like a clown. Armor. Well, I can't sell them. Oh man. All right, it looks like I just have to sell them to the marketplace. Or not the marketplace, uh, the whatever. Here. Okay, sell these. A lot of dye. <laughs> Pudding flesh, gross. Um, all right, and an armory chest. Hemp and tabard that I got sold. Sell this. Sell this. And this. Some more ventures. Let's put some more stuff in the market. Let's sell dungeon seedling. Watch this. One. Alright, that's fine. Putting flesh. 390. of these all the dye that I have. Alright, I can get some mm. Alright, that, that's probably fine. Never mind. Now I've got sixty two thousand. Sixty two thousand gil. to the Lancer's Guild. Let's see if he's got something for me. I believe so. Good Jillian. Ewayne! Ewayne seeks your aid and is just sitting an old friend. Uh, I dare say you might just be the right woman for the job. The Guild has urgent need of a capable Lancer for a mission beyond our nation's borders. Hear me out, if you will. I've received word from an Ishgardian friend to the effect that he requires our aid. I would have you go and provide that aid. As you may already know, due to her ongoing conflict with the dragons, Ishgard has kept her gates closed to outsiders for some time. The occasional dragoon on patrol duty is about all folk see these days. In spite of her self-imposed isolation, however, the Holy See has never failed to honor her obligations to her allies. It is only fitting that we answer the call and lend what assistance we can. To this end, we offered to dispatch a contingent of wood whalers with all haste, but were politely informed that they would not be welcome, much to our initial confusion. It was later explained that we are dealing with a matter of some sensitivity, best handled by individuals who are capable and trustworthy, yet unbound by allegiance. 
and who fits that description save adventurers? Secrecy being paramount, I can provide no details as to the nature of the task. All you need to know will be revealed at the rendezvous point. Should you accept the mission, take yourself to the observatorium. A knight by the name of Sir Alberic will receive you upon arrival. Ooh. Okay. Let's go see what they're playing at the plaza real fast. And then we'll teleport to the snowy place and I'll put on my winter's gear. is really cute. Look at her. Look at that cute dress. Headbangs. <laughs> I want them to play a metal song. Of course they have Baka Mitai. You can buy with real money? So you float dead in the water? That's funny. There's 24 hour Cinderella. I. I, I wouldn't doubt the they might have 24 hour Cinderella. Suki, 
con mi chai Sit in the middle. I got a good spot. while a pumpkin person waves glow sticks around. It's great. Another one. Oh, here they go. so bad. I don't know why it has to taste bad. Clap, 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 clap. Next up is Friends. Like the, the song. I signed up for two minutes. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. My medicine tastes so bad. to the masses once again. <laughs> this has become a game to like, guess what song they're playing. I would never, Yun is a truther. <laughs> this is Naruto? I 
could just sit here for like the next hour. sometime if this is what the opening sounds like. That was the last one to clap, shit. Anyway, here's Mambo number five. <laughs> These people crazy. seems so pleasant. Everyone's just hanging out, having a good time. number from the ads. I am awake. Don't poke me, I will bite you. under 
tell music right now. I need to pause my Undertale music so I can hear the Undertale music. <laughs> your finger up. <laughs> their mouth bit off a chunk eats it eats it and gains nutrients look at this scary demon wait did they are they actually playing asgore's theme no No, they're not. Okay, I got freaked out a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna turn on this quest. Persona 4. Oh, okay. It started off kind of like Asgore's theme and I got a little scared. <laughs> I was like, can they hear me? Legally distinct Asgore's theme. I just passed Santa. <laughs> I just passed Santa Claus. Ah, uh, Private Altibana. How went the meeting with the Sylph? I got a letter from the Elder. A missive from the Sylph Elder himself, if I may. So the Sylphs have no desire for conflict, nor do they intend to summon remove. And so long as we leave the Tempered Ones be, we need not fear any aggression on their part. The Elder Seeds here will be overjoyed to hear that the Sylphs have welcomed our overtures, and in knowledge that they bear us no ill will, we may channel our resources toward tackling the more conspicuous threats to our security. You have done our nation a great service, Private Altibana. It will not be forgotten. Yeah, it was Grandpa. He's a dude. He just wears a dress. Sylphic folk have long been friends to Gridania. The mere thought of being at war with them pained the Elder Seed Seer to no end, but owing to your efforts, she will be able to rest easier. Being the benevolent soul that she is, my lady will surely try to find a way to reverse the tempering process. Once again, I thank you. I've been misgendering him for years, Grandpa, I'm sorry. <laughs> when you misgender Grandpa. Had the signs of the Seventh Dawn not offered to mediate between our peoples, suspicion and doubt may well have led us into needless conflict. Pray pass on my regards to Lady Menphilia. Hello? Hello, Milky? Can you hear me? It is I, Menphilia. Ida and Papalima returned some little while ago, and they wasted no time in regaling me with the tale of your exploits. The only game where you can run past Santa, Anubis, Darkseid, and Big the Cat inside the same bar. <laughs> yeah, it's like being at a convention. Thanks in part... In, thanks in large part to you, the name of one primal may be struck from our list of enemies, and the Gridanians may turn their attention to more pressing matters. Well done. Yet at the end yet the end of one tale is but the start of another. Pray return to the waking sands at your earliest convenience. I would appraise you of the present situation in person. Ogi Ogi. I love you wibbly text box. 
Thank you for typing to me. Let's see what song they're playing now. This thing's vibing. Oh, he's shaking. Look at him go. <laughs> we have corn. We have corn. character I actually like. The, the esthetician. I love him. Where am I going? Um... Oh, I need to go to... Here. Very talented investigator. Mm. I cannot wait to meet them. Meet him and his lovely assistant one day. Nice! Me change into my winter clothes. Yippee! Turn in these quests. I can turn in one quest and then I... need to... uh... do a part of another one. The most fucked up expressions you'll ever see in this game, really? I'm afraid. Leave me alone! Leave me be! <laughs> Your character's last name come from? It's my last name! Mikyu Altibana is my full name. It's, um, Arabic for, uh, Milky Way. Da, 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 da. 
here I am. Ah, uh, you must be the adventurer of whom Ewain sent word. Greeting, greetings. Like you're a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, Milky is a nickname. It actually came from uh, someone trying to type out my name and then it auto-corrected to Milky. And then I was like, I like that. So I kept it. <laughs> I am Sir Alberic Bale, Knight of Ishgard. The Holy See is much obliged to you for your aid. Time being of the essence, I shall proceed straight to the heart of the matter. The eye, an Ishgardian relic of... Im Immeasurable worth has been stolen, and we have reason to believe the culprit has come this way. So it is that we ask your assistance in its recovery. If you one stream changed the color of the inside of your mouth to see if someone would notice, I, um, it was supposed to be a thing where my the inside of my mouth would change color depending on my mood. But, um, I couldn't really figure out how to do that without toggles, so it doesn't change. It's supposed to, but it doesn't. It, it changes in canon, but for streams, it does not. Immaculate facial hair, you had a bad case of bedhead. Um, anime. <laughs> Thief has been identified as a man named Estenine, a dragoon sworn to the service of the Holy See. My mood is always teal. <laughs> it is. Uh, you heard true. The crime was perpetrated by one of our own, an individual in a position of trust and no little honor. You may be assured that a fate worse than death awaits him upon capture. The more you know. The duty to the sea afforded me little opportunity to travel far beyond the walls of Ishgard. I must confess to a grave ignorance of recent Gridanian affairs. Don't tell Mephi you called him Estenine. What do you mean? I was told that a sentry by the name of Lo Lo Logdanrel Logdanrel Log might have knowledge of routes uh, oft taken by Ishgardian fugitives. I would prefer to keep my identity a secret, and thus would have you gather what information you can from the man. You must act quickly, for you see, Estenine is. But I have already said too much. What matters is that we find our thief and the eye with all haste. When last sighted, Estenine was, was clad in black armor. Now go and speak not a word of what I have told you to anyone. What do you mean? Did I pronounce it wrong? Estenine? Estenine. I'm pronouncing it German. I-E is an E sound. Roots Estenine. Estenine. I'm pronouncing Estenine. You already let on your shade. You just say the secret about. Just say the secret. Estenine. Estenine. <laughs> Estin... Estinian. Estinian? Oh. I was pronouncing it Estinian. <laughs> I like Estinian. Roots favored by Ishgardian fugitives. Now that's a question I don't hear every day. You aren't plotting some unsavory act yourself, are you? Just think of a Japanese man trying to make Einstein into an anime name. <laughs> Estony. Even if he were, I doubt you'd make it far. Any road, we've caught a few fling to the North Shroud. But with Gridania being home to nearly as many Elizin as Ishgard, it's no easy task to identify outsiders. If you're on the hunt for someone, you could do worse than visit Florentel's Spire in the North Shroud and speak with a man named Idriston. If any suspicious persons have crossed the border in recent days, he'd be the first to know. Okay, let me turn in a quest real fast. We're to 
to the dungeon? Can't pronounce E as E in most cases, but with words Ian, most often country names. Oh, okay, Ian. Estinian. I really hope the suspicious person has a neon sign or something that's saying they're suspicious. Hello, is anyone suspicious in here? Welcome to Zemail Darkhold, built to withstand all of Dravanian ploys and plans. These were natural caves behind me until House Zemail began to enlarge, connect, and fashion them into a stronghold. Alas and alack, the void sense struck, interrupting the work. Alas. Then in the confusion, Garlians infiltrated the keep. Alack. And all, all in all, twas a fine mess. The Garlians were eventually forced into retreat, of course, but the Void Scent remained. So the fortress goes uncompleted, a home for the abominations. Whoa, woe is us. The fat chocobo mount? I have not. Have I? I might have seen it and just thought it was a chicken. Yet the war with the dragons rages, and we have no knights to spare for this noble mission. Even I am here strictly on a very long tea time arranged by Sir Carolout. Please see to these abominations, Madam Adventurer, Madam. I have much prowess with the paperwork, should you require eight of that sort. You hold a cake in front of it to get it to fly? That's cute! I might have seen it. I unlocked the, I unlocked the dungeon. I will do that later. So... North Shroud, I think I have to go? North Shroud. I think. Change into my regular clothes, thank you. Justin's yeah, I saw a Lollafell with like a little tiny chocobo. I thought it was cute. Yeah! I saw a very a very small chocobo. I love the attention to detail in this game, it's so good. I'm very small, though. I think my chocobo is normal-sized. Baby. Interesting. Hail, adventurer. Yes, I am the one tasked with monitoring those who would enter our lands by way of Karthus. Hmm? An Ishgardian knight clad in black armor. No, I recall nothing of the sort. And such a striking visitor would be difficult to forget. My apologies, friend. I can only suggest that you return to Logan Jarrell and see if he has any other theories. Okay. Just go back here, I guess. Speak with Logan Jarrell. Rogadin and Hrothgar will have Chocobo even bigger than yours. <gasps> Whoa! Big Chocobo. In China, the only way to get the fat chocobo mount was to do a dine-in food challenge at KFC. I need like 12 chicken burgers, six large fries, and six large drinks. Ooh! Makes my tummy hurt just thinking about it. I don't like that. <laughs> Make my tummy hurt. The music up is a little bit low right now. Okay. <sighs> As if stomach ache, yeah. The Nico Kado experience. <laughs> no, you have to you have to do it two years in advance. We'd be the Nikocado experience. Let's 
like a stupid food challenge for us Americans, but they were feeding that the Chinese people who were like 80 pounds smaller than us on average. No luck, you say? Most curious. Why, it is not impossible that a fugitive could make it this far without... Boom. Without being espied, espied from Florentel's spire. Which leaves the possibility that your man is still on Ishgard. It runs counter to good sense. Would the fugitive not want to put a distance of grounds between him and his pursuers? But by the process of deduction, it is a possibility. The climbs of Ishgard are not kind to drifters and vagabonds. That said, there, are t there has been talk of curious smoke wafting from a cave east of here at night. Where are you? I might begin my search there. The music got loud again. is whispering to me. Dusk dawns. This way. I'm searching for a suspicious man. Ah, oh, shit. Will they attack me? Oh look! This was on my hunting list! Yeah. I'm gonna get it! Oh. Oh. Hi, Remy! <laughs> Kill! Good to be careful. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be careful. I don't know who that is. When Frenzy 14 is going good, we sat like we sat for like 30 minutes watching uh, a concert in in Gridania. <laughs> One guy on, the re on Reddit posted that he went to the bathroom and gave him a new tray to eat. What? I threw 50 bucks of food away to be certain he ate the whole meal. Ooh. Gross. I get grossed out by food. Entry for Ixali Fear Callers complete. Oh, I completed it. East Shroud. Chili for dinner. I had um I just had snacks. I had um some breakfast biscuits and a Nutella sandwich. Or Nutella. Wait, huh? Oh, I have to examine the campfire. Sorry! Give me a sec. <laughs> You're actually decreasing your nutritional intake. Come on, Nutella's good, dude. Ishgard will resort to sending a coin-starved adventurer after me. I know not whether to laugh or feel insulted. The eye, it rouses for another? Oh, he's cute. Do you think he's cute? Preposterous. Our paths shall cross again. I can be sure of it. I say get them a sandwich. What do you mean? Is it because my arms are real tiny and bony? I've got tiny little arms. 
I could, I, if I tried to punch someone, they would break. They would snap in half. I look like a ghost in real life. I look like, I look like a... I look like a girl from the ring. A dragoon clad in black, you say? Tell me all that transpired. By the fury that the eye would choose another. I had not thought it possible. In light of recent events, it would seem an explanation is in order. The eye is no ordinary relic. It harbors the power of the dragon, which it bestows upon a single chosen soul, the strongest and wisest dragoon. I am inside a lot, yes. I'm inside all the time. The Ringo, that's her name. The Ringo from the Rin? What do you mean? What? He who is chosen is possessed of the power to fight our mortal foes. Oh yeah, Ringo, the girl from the ring. Two more months for three years. <laughs> Crunchy! Crunchy on the Two more months for three is still years. About him. Two more months for three years. Yay! Thank you. Thank you for the 20 months. Yeah! Or 34 months, actually. 20, 20 months streak. Thank you. Yippee! I appreciate it very much. You've been around for so long. Balancing out the Lebanese skin tone. Yeah, I mean, I'm still like, I have an olive complexion, even though I'm very pale. I have, I have the Lebanese olive complexion. I love it here. Oh, thank you. Oh, I have something in my eyes. Sorry. Thank you. I appreciate it. But yeah, I have, I have the olive skin tone. I'm just very pale. Lebanese skin tones actually come in like a wide variety. My dad is on the darker side and I'm very much on the lighter side. High brightness, but Lebanese filter added on top. Yeah, it's like you, you kind of, you fill it in with green and then put white on top. <laughs> Ever with red hot metal other, so I'm starving by the time I get home. The thought of just having snacks for a meal is scary. I don't do a lot. I'm gonna make like a... I'm at 14 too, yeah! I love this game. It's so nice. The people here seem, the people playing it seem to be very, very pleasant. And uh, like, especially with the little concert that we just saw, with everybody just sitting around and clapping for the music. Ugh, that was so cute. He who is chosen is possessed of the power to fight our mortal foes, the dragons of Dravania on equal footing, soaring the firmament as if it were an ex extension of the land. That man is known as the Azure Dragoon. Sadako, slight green. <laughs> the Azure and and with blue hair. I am I am literally a they them with blue hair. <laughs> the Azure Dragoon is the light of hope for all Ish Guardians and the paragon of all dragoons. For this reason, you may imagine how it pains me to have to confess that the man you encountered, the thief, is none other than the Azure Dragoon, and that I was once his teacher. <gasps> T. Needless to say, I acknowledge myself accountable for the Estini for Estinian's misdeeds, and mean to do all in my power to find him and recover the eye. But I cannot do this alone. Brazil actually has many different skin tones. Yeah, I saw. They they range from like um dark i mean there are black brazilians uh and then there are very then there are white brazilians there there are uh white latinos needless to say i acknowledge myself accountable for estinian's misdeeds i mean to do all in my power to find him and recover the eye but i cannot do this alone i require your help milky you have who have received the power of the dragon you may labor to believe it. Oh shit. Shut the fuck up, Jevil. Jevil is too loud. There, I turned him down. You may labor to believe it, but it but there can be no mistake. 
the soul of the dragoon won i bear blows in your presence irrefutable proof that you are chosen what i can ill explain however is the why of it never before in ishgard's long history has the eye roused to more than one individual in a single generation but it avails us not to cudgel our brains about it in Brazil and he has a Mexican name, so you can imagine the kind of confusion that happens when people meet him. Yeah, my dad, um, he's very dark. He looks, he looks, uh, there's a, uh, we have a big, um, Mexican population, and whenever my dad, um, like wears sunglasses or whatever, uh, people think that he's Mexican and they start speaking Spanish to him. <laughs> and he's like, are you talking to me? <laughs> Were you indigenous Brazilians fall in there? Are they the more African black or more like Native Americans? I don't know. I don't know a lot about Brazil. I need to reset my model, sorry. The fact of the matter is that you are now a vessel for the power of the dragon. The dragon lies yet in slumber, however, and you must needs possess this, the means to wake it. The soul of the dragoon. I would entrust you with mine, Noki. Like Estinian, I once ruled the skies as the azure dragoon, although that power has since become lost to me. It was simply by force of habit that I have hitherto kept the soul upon my person. It's spoken to in Spanish response in Arabic. He doesn't speak Arabic. I wish, that would be funny. I have no inkling as to why the eye has seen fit to choose a second, and an outsider at that. Oops. Yet one thing is clear, none can challenge the Azure Dragoon, and conceivably prevail save another Azure Dragoon. And conceivably prevail save another tra Azure Dragoon. I will defeat you with this gun I found. You are our only hope of bringing Estinian to justice and reclaiming the eye. Of course, I do not ask that you do this unaided. I may be a dragoon no more, but what knowledge I have, I shall gladly impart to you. For indeed, when the time comes that you must face the Azure Dragoon, not less than complete mastery over the power of the dragon will avail you. That a perilous road lies ahead of you, I shall not deny. Knowing this, if you would still lend me your lance, I will teach you to harness the power that has chosen you. Go forth, my young dragoon, and rouse the dragon within. I look forward to your return. Now that you are your dad. Okay, so my uh my grandfather is um or was he's dead. <laughs> he was Latino and Lebanese. But the thing is, my great grandfather who came here from uh Lebanon, he ended up leaving uh his family and started another family. So um he he didn't teach Arabic to my grandfather because he left. <laughs> There's family drama in there. And the family he left to he, the family he left he left this he left our family, started another family. Um and when they were at his funeral, they were like white with red hair. It was very strange. Uh or I wasn't I wasn't there. But um Apparently it was very strange to see like these people who look Lebanese, my family, and then these like white people. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so that's what happened. That's my family. Yeah, they were all gingers. For some reason. <laughs> I learned to Things. That's colonization, baby. <laughs> Dragoon unlocked. Oh! Action learn to jump. Next Dragoon quest will be available from Alberic upon reaching level 35. It, is, it was interesting. Obtain a soul crystal. Soul crystals are required to change from your current class to a more specialized shell. Each job has its own crystal and arms, which can be equipped via the armory chest. 
While using a job, you will have limited access to actions from other classes. You will, however, have access to new job-specific actions. Job levels coincide with those of the base class. When a job level rises, so too does the level of the base class and vice versa. Jobs that do not have a base class, however, will start from the level required to unlock them, and their level can be raised independently of other classes and jobs. Okay, I think I understand. Got a soul crystal, soul of the dragoon. By changing your job to Dragoon, you may carry over the hopbar and cross hopbar settings from Lancer. Yeah, transfer. Yes, please. It's recommended that you confirm- oh, well. It is pleasing to see how wordily the dragon serves within you. You show great potential, Milky. A potential threat that may well prove the difference between victory and defeat. What about your grandparents? No. <laughs> My great grandfather did, but he left, so he never taught them any Arabic. Uh, he abandoned the family, so <laughs> never, never happened. Estinian is no ordinary dragoon. Even when set against the legendary Azures of Ages Past, the man is considered second to none. Such is his prowess, in fact, that the day he was chosen by the Eye, it was proclaimed that Haldroth, the Dragon's Eye, had been reborn. I mean not to disparage your skills, Milky, but to pursue Estinian in your current state would be tantamount to suicide. As promised, I shall train you in the way of the, the Dragoon, that you might face Estinian as an equal. Before we commence, however, it is only fitting that you are edified regarding our origins. It all began a millennium past when our forebears resided in the north, the southern plains in humble circumstances. Recently decided to spawn another family. Yeah. <laughs> the Fury, impressed by the spirit of our ancestors, decided that it was it was meet that she make them her own. So did she appear before before Haldrith's sire, a man of courage and integrity named Thordan, and bade him lead her people to the promised land. To what would become the great nation of Ishgard. Their journey brought them to a wide chasm, whereupon Thordan and his people set to building a bridge. It was then that a dark shadow descended upon them, the great worm Nidhogg. Heedless of his own safety, Thordan fearlessly charged at the colossal beast. Alas, he was pushed into the chasm by one of his own, a man seduced by the worm, and fell to his death. Taking up his slain sire's lance, Aldreth hurled himself at Nidhogg, even as tears streamed down his face. The confrontation ended when the young man, his hand guided by Halone, landed a mighty thrust that prized out Nidhogg's eye. With a terrible roar of pain, the great worm took wing and fled, while jubilation reigned below. You can see the tan lines? Yeah, she's probably, um, lighter. She's just very tan. The people whitewashing her is still weird. Ishgard's priceless relic is none other than the eye taken from Nidhogg that day. It is a veritable wellspring of dragon power. Even so removed from its owner, it can exert control over the hearts of men. Aldrath himself felt its malign influence, but his love of justice brooked no corruption, and he prevailed over the power, claiming it for his own. And so it was that the first Azure Dragoon was born. Being derived from our foe, the power of the dragon is a thing to be loathed. But as Haldroth proved to us all, so long as our hearts burn with justice, we need not fear being taken in its thrall. You know the South American Mikus? Yeah! I love seeing all of the all of the national Mikus. I think it's really cute. Ah, but what is justice precisely? Justice assumes many shapes and forms, Milky, and none can say that one is greater than another. So long as you hold fast to your beliefs and stay true to yourself, you leave no room for the power of the, of the dragon master, of the dragon to master you. But enough of history. Let us return our attention to the present. A knight by the name of Sir Bruce Mont will see to the next stage of your training. Think about it, witch drop. Okay. I like the indigenous Mikus. Yeah. Witch drop. Witch drop. 
let's drop a where pray tell is that um which drop to the north here we go this way can you sprint on a chocobo what the fuck is that okay <laughs> some of these mounts are, are wild that was just a ball of fire Learn a little bit of Arabic. I can I can pray a little bit. <laughs> Look at all the snow falling from the tree. Dude, the writing seems so hard to learn. What the fuck? Oh, this is what I would look like if I didn't have any glamours on? I look kind of scary. Look at that. It's kind of scary. Winter time. The writing is quite easy, but it's difficult if it's small because there's a lot of lines and dots. Mm -hmm. It just seems hard uh, to differentiate the letters, but I guess when you learn a little bit, it won't be that hard. I love this area too. It's so pretty. We go down. I love the little flaps that my chocobo does. Whee! Look, look. You know what you're looking for? It works? Hmm. Kind of like when I started learning the Korean alphabet. Widow wingies. Got widow wingies. Brain rot. <laughs> I, re I read his name as Brain Rot. Hello, Brain Rot. So the adventurer seeks to become a dragoon. Ha! Sir Alberic speaks of legends and chosen ones, but I would see you prove yourself in a more practical fashion with your lance. Defend yourself. And so hostile presence. Where? Oh. Hither. Dragon within stirs, resonating the soul of the dragoon. You have some skill, I will give you that, in the glow of your soul crystal. Perhaps Sir Alberg was not wrong about you after all. Now return to him, your training here is complete. That was it? Okay. I guess I'm done. Leave me alone! Eh. Similar to the Latin and Cyrillic ones where you have single letters. The Chinese alphabet is the real killer, but there are letters also. There are little. Also double as words in Japanese kind of in the middle. Yeah. I was learning Mandarin for like a little bit. But I forgot it. 
And my aunt, my aunt is from China. So I wanted to learn a little bit to like maybe talk a little bit to her. Shit, I shouldn't go here. But I forgot it. <laughs> I forgot it. Hey, Jahal. Well, the milky. <laughs> or, or is it a uh, wool? Yeah, I just forgot it. <laughs> Stinky, I forgot it. I forgot the Mandarin. Learning learning a little bit of Mandarin did help me with my kanji though. So that was, that was a good uh side effect. Hand and bread. <laughs> my brother used to uh learn Russian. I doubt he remembers it either. <laughs> Because it was a while ago. He's on Gaelic now. Albert! Soul of the dragon grows ever stronger within you, Milky. Clearly your trial was a rousing success, and you'd only observed your crystal to know as much. Yes, though you have only just begun to walk the path of the Dragoon, it is clear you possess the talent to become Estinian's equal. Go forth and make the powers you have obtained your own. When the time is right, we shall proceed with your training. Elusive Jump stronger, and I speak of more than just the flesh. Aye, you are slowly but surely realizing your potential as an azure dragoon. It is heartening to look upon, though I must confess that my presiding feeling is one of relief. You must understand the mere thought that the eye would choose an outsider, one who ill comprehends the threat posed by the dragons, filled, with me, filled me with the gravest of misgivings. Yet you have... Ah, but I shall say no more, lest flattery impede your improvement. There's an ad coming up in seven minutes. So be prepared. Now, during your last session, I enlightened you regarding the origins of Dragoons. You will recall how Haldroth heroically triumphed over the, over the great worm Nidhogg, and Ishgard came into possession of the Eye. Tell me, Milky, do you believe that these events truly transpired, or are you inclined to think them fairy tales? I ask you this because few folk have seen dragons in the flesh besides we Ishgardians, and most would soon as dismiss them as products of the imagination. Alas, dragons are no less real than you and I, with Nidhogg perhaps the most real of all. In the course of its history, Ishgard has suffered the creature's wrath on eight separate occasions. Each time the Great Worm rouses, the blood of countless, countless Ishgardians is spilled. Let us revisit the past once more, Milky. The time is twenty summers past, and the place Dravania. After a century in slumber, Nidhogg awakened once more to resume his reign of terror. Entire villages were razed to the ground, their inhabitants reduced to smoldering ash. Sensing the Grey Worm's unbridled rage, others of his kind began to rouse, and in such numbers as to blot out the sun with their wings, a deep, foreboding darkness swept over Ishgard. Raging infernos painting the belly of the sky in angry red, the agonized screams of innocence fading into deathly silence. In my station as the Azure Dragoon, I was there through it all, bore witness to all the horrors. There was no time to offer even a silent prayer. Nidhogg lingered in one place only long enough. Oh shit, sorry. I have to re to replace my charger. Okay. Uh, Nidhogg lingered in one place only long enough to lay it to waste. And when he took wings, so too did I pursue him, a man possessed. 
game of cat and mouse continued for what seemed like an eternity before I found myself face to face with the great worm. The battle unfolded in a tiny settlement on the edge of Carthus, raging on for three days and three nights, with neither side able to gain a decisive advantage. Remaining on my feet by sheer force of will, I realized that it must end now, else it shouldn't end well. Marshalling my last ounce of strength, I wagered all on a single thrust. My lance struck home, burying deep in the ruin of my opponent's empty eye socket. Yet before I could withdraw my weapon, the worm lashed out wildly in its agony, dealing a blow that left me sprawled upon the scorched earth, nigh insensate. In that instant, I brought myself... I thought myself surely doomed, but Halon was not finished with me. Having lost the taste for battle, Nidhogg let loose a blood-curling roar before fleeing to the sky. The battle was over. While I did not perish from my injuries, they rendered my body unfit to bear the power of the dragon, and I was Azure Dragoon no more. Lying bedridden, my thoughts wandered to all the innocent lives that had been lost, the people I had failed to protect. The last conflict with the dragons of Dravania left countless orphans in its wake. Estinian is one of them, the sole survivor of Ferndale, the final village to suffer Nidhogg's wrath. With none left to care for him, I did the only thing I could. I took Estinian as mine own son, instructing him in the way of the Dragoon when he was of an age to learn. Yet I would not have you think me noble. My actions were born not of compassion, but of guilt. My guilt at having failed him. But alas, I have also failed him as a father. For what manner of man did I bring him up to be? A thief who would endanger the life of every one of his countrymen. You interrupted me. Aye, <laughs> you heard me right. All of Ishgard may suffer for his crime. Though we know little and less of the minds of dragons, it is conceivable that the disturbance surrounding his stolen eye will rouse Nidhogg to awaken once more. That his kin have already stirred from their slumber serves as fair as warning of that. Time is not on our side. Fortunately, it would seem you are more than ready to embark on your next trial. Make your way to Witchdrop, where the knight Hustien awaits your arrival. My nation is depending on you, Milky. For longer than three hours, I'm gonna do this and then I'll and then I'll end stream. I'm gonna do this trial. I don't want to spend any gill. Because I'm saving up for those cute shorts that I want. <laughs> dragon, dragon, dragon! That single silverfish. Ew! You have a silverfish in your bathroom? Those things are scary. No, you. He's so tiny. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like bugs. I don't like a silverfish. They look like they look like ancient creatures. And they bite you in Minecraft. I got Sugar Boy, let's go. Yeah, I got it. I named him Soy. <laughs> I want to give him clothes. Are American Silverfish as big as in Minecraft? No, they're little. I just don't like them because they're bugs. I don't like bugs. If they were as big as in Minecraft, I would probably kill myself. <laughs> I don't think we have any silverfish in Alabama, but... If they were as big as your hand, I would simply pass away. I'm mostly scared of flying bugs, too. I'm scared of, um... I'm scared of butterflies. People make fun of me being scared of butterflies, but I'm scared of them. Please don't tease me. <laughs> Did bananas hear this here for wasps? Maybe they like migrate. You think? 
These Google coconut crabs. No, I know what they look like. They're gross. I don't like them. Oh shit. bug. I hate bugs. Let me look at my actions and This outfit is my winter outfit. Look it. I wear it when I'm in the winter place. Oh my god, I've seen a velvet ant before. I was uh, downstairs. I remember this. I remember it very vividly. I was downstairs. I was lying on the couch. I don't know why I wasn't in my room, but I was on. I was lying on the couch, and um, I saw a velvet ant crawl up from between the cushions so what I just I couldn't move and I stared at it until it went back into the cushions and I went and I grabbed um I grabbed a blanket and I put it over the couch and I shoved it into all the cracks <laughs> so that it wouldn't so that it wouldn't crawl back out it was fucking scary The jump doom spike. Potency of 110 to all enemies in a straight line before you. Hmm. That there. Rush for targeted enemies location. Cannot be executed while bound. Delivers a f jumping fire base attack to target and all enemies nearby. Should you use a Pokeball? No, I didn't want to get near it. It's fucking scary. They're huge. They're like two inches long. It's scary. You are the one who would aspire to be Azure Dragoon. Why, you are not even of Ishgard. If you truly possess the power that Sir Alberg sees in you, then prove it to me with your lance. On guard. On guard. strength. I have not seen its likes. I have not seen its likes since Estenian himself stood before me. Mayhap Sir Alberic has the right of it after all. 
return and show your crystal to him. I have no doubt he will be pleased. Thank you. You almost killed me. Uh, uh. Welcome back from the ads, by the way. <laughs> I almost died. Okay, I'm gonna turn this in and then I'm gonna call it for tonight. It's okay with you guys. Uh, please stay around for the raid. I, I like to raise as many people as possible, so please stay for the raid. An ant by my armpit. It was hiding in my jacket. That's a nightmare. That's a nightmare. What the fuck? I've only been bitten by a fire ant once. And it was like between my toes. Fucking sucked. I was at a water park. And uh, I was little. I was like real little. I was at a water park. And I was running around barefoot. Cause you know. I was in a bathing suit. I was swimming. And there was like a colony of fire ants. In the cracks of this concrete. And it bit in between my toes. It fucking hurt. Ew. I don't like ants. Ew, it's making me... Ew, it's giving me a shiver down my spine. It's making me feel all crawly. I hate that. <gasps> Thank you for the follow, Amstan. Hello. Welcome in. We're talking about how much I hate bugs. <laughs> Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Bride wife. Bride wife. Life good. Wife fight back. Wife. Kill wife. Thank you for distract. Wife gone. It's giving me little shivers down my Think shoulders. About wife. Regret. Regret. I wish I could do like a. Uh, I wish I could. Pop my mic like that, <laughs> but I can't. I have a, I have a pop filter. You have passed another trial with flying colors, Milky. The day when you may stand before Estinian as an equal is not far off, and when that day comes, the eye will choose you over the traitor. I have no doubt of this. But we must be patient still. For now, you must continue your training. When you can do no more on your own, seek me out once more. What do I got? Doom Spike. Yeah. Inner dragon glows stronger. All right, let's head back to Gridania and see what's going on at the plaza. And then I'll and then I'll uh, end stream. Are they still here? They are. They're just dancing. I think they're done. All right. Um. Let me exit. Please stay around for the raid, please. I'm asking very nicely. Um. But yeah, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. I love this game. I love this game. <laughs> it's a very fun. Um, I'm gonna play more tonight. Um, let's see, who can we raid? Who's on right now? Pixie? Very much think I will! I will do it! Be giggling about Estenine. Listen, I don't know how to pronounce it. The names of this game are fucking stupid. <laughs> Um, let me see. Let me check. My my bot never pinged. It never at all pinged. Stop talking about Estony. <laughs> I see it in the Discord. I see Estony in the Discord. Shut up. Estonian. 
Let me look in my Discord servers and see if anybody's streaming. Looks like I'm the only one streaming in RAR. How about this one? Chuwu. Chu was the only one streaming. I raided Chuwu like really recently. So I don't want to raid him. Hmm. Who should I raid? Maybe Scarlet Blades? Since they raided me uh last last stream. You could do that. They're playing uh, Monster Hunter World. Which is similar in aesthetic to Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah. Monster Hunter World. But yeah, um... Ren once streamed Little Goody Two Shoes and there were a lot of German names in there. He's from Pennsylvania, I had no clue how to pronounce them. Yeah, the names in this fucking game, they're just straight made up. I... They're just completely fictional. These aren't real names. But yeah, um, if you like me and the things that I do, please join my Discord server. That's where we all hang out, and that's where you get notified whenever I go live on Twitch, and whenever I post a video on YouTube, where I post clips, clip compilations, stream highlights, song covers, dance videos, all that stuff. Um, I have a Twitter where I do little interactive posts and just general shit posting. Um... I have a VOD channel where you can watch all my VODs in case you miss a stream. And I have um, a Patreon where you get early access to all of my stuff and even some Patreon exclusive content. Estinian is a dumb name. It's not real. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. I think Saturdays... Um, not next Saturday, because that's when me and Cywolf are gonna play Resident Evil 5. Um, I think Saturdays are gonna be FF14 days. Maybe. I think, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, um, bye, say hi to Scarlet for me. Adios, wee! Don't touch that dial now, we're just getting started.